In Matthew chapter 6, in verse 27, we read, Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? A law-abiding, honest man received a voicemail that said, This is Officer Johnson from the police department. Please call me at this number. Immediately, the man began to worry, afraid that somehow he had done something wrong. He was afraid to return the call, and he even spent sleepless nights running through possible scenarios, worried that he was in some kind of serious trouble. The officer never called back. But it took weeks for that worry to go away. Jesus asked an interesting question about worry. Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? Perhaps this can help us rethink our tendency to worry because it suggests that it doesn't help the situation we are concerned about. When problems are on the horizon for us, maybe we can try this following two-step approach. Take action and then trust in God. If we can do something to avoid the problem, let's try that route. We can pray for God to guide us to an action we should take. But if there's nothing we can do, we can take comfort in knowing that God never finds himself in such a predicament. He can always act on our behalf. We can always turn our situation over to him in trust and confidence. When it feels like time to worry, May we turn to the inspired words of King David, who faced his own share of difficulties and worries, but concluded, Cast your cares on the Lord, and He will sustain you. What a great alternative to worry. This week, my friends, I challenge you to be like David and cast all your cares on the Lord.